I will put this in the context of the coronavirus because we have these pages for each of the coronavirus proteins as well. So the, the reasoning behind these aggregated views is that traditionally PDB entry pages display information for one specific PDB, logically enough. But this means that if you're interested in a full length protein, then often you have to visit many, many different pages and get the data from each of these places and compile it yourself. So instead, we were thinking that maybe we could create a page that already aggregates all the structural data for a protein, not, not from just one PDB entry, but from all the PDB entries related to that particular protein. And so we are collecting all the data we have and displaying it on these pages. This includes everything from domain annotations to biophysical parameters. This is the example of one of the coronavirus proteins. This is a polyprotein. And as you can see, there are already 121 different PDB entries for this particular protein, and also 121 small molecules, as well as eight different similar proteins. So one thing I would like to highlight here is, is this panel on the, on the right. And what you can see here is that the protein, the polyprotein is quite long and different segments of it are covered by different PDBs. So for example, this blue box, this means that for that particular segment of the protein, we have a PDB entry, which happens to be 6WEN. But if you are interested in a different part of that protein, you can use this panel to, to navigate between the different sections. And you can see that, okay, for that, that region, the representative PDB would be 6M71. If you click on any of these uh, images, then you get to a, an interactive 3D viewer called Mostar. You can also download all the, all the coordinates for different uh, options. So for example, you can, in this case, if you want to get all those PDB entries where there are small molecules, then you can just click here and you will get 115 different PDB entries. Right beneath this section, we have structures and domains. So here you get an overview of all the PDBs that are covering the different regions of the, of the protein sequence. And you can compare that information with domain mappings and secondary structure information. We have a specific section for small molecules. And on one hand, there is, there is a gallery where you can download all those PDB entries where you have one particular small molecule present. And on the other hand, we are also, also showing here annotations if we have any. So for example, if you, we know that this is a cofactor-like molecule, we are, we are placing it there. And underneath this gallery, we have a sequence feature viewer called ProtVista. And you can use this to actually look at the, the residues which are interacting with these small molecules. So one of the, the features I, I really like in this is that if you collapse the track for the, for the ligand binding sites, then you can see patterns. You can see which are the residues in the, in the protein that are consistently interacting with different small molecules. And if you expand it, then you see that, okay, for this particular small molecule, these are the residues which are involved in interaction. But if you, if you collapse it, then you can see that actually these two residues, they are always interacting, well, except for this particular uh, instance. We have the similar setting or, or setup for macromolecular interactions. Again, we have a gallery. And if, if this uh, interaction partner has a uniprot accession, then you can actually go to, to its own aggregated view page. And also, again, we are showing which residues are involved in interactions. So basically, we are showing you the interaction interface. And finally, we have a, a section for similar proteins. And in the case of coronavirus, what we can show here is that, are there any other uniprotect sessions? So this is the uniprotect session of the coronavirus protein. Are there any other uniprotect sessions which have PDBs mapped to them that are at least 90% identical to any PDBs mapped to this one. 
and it shows you where that re where that PDB is mapped to. So, for example, this first row this says that this particular uniprot has a PDB structure there, which is 90% identical to a PDB structure mapped to the same segment of your protein of interest. One thing I would like to highlight is that you can not only download the coordinates like you've seen previously, but you can also get all the other data that we are showing, so all the annotations, all the ranges, all the text, everything, in both CSV and JSON format for all the different sections. So you can grab the data and then you can perform any kind of analysis.